In this tutorial, I'm going to produce a document that's going to become uh, seasonal coupons in Illustrator. To get started, I'm going to choose New Document. And this is going to be a print document, so I'm going to be working in CMYK color model. I'm going to change my units of measurement from points to inches as that is what my client has specified. And I'm going to put an eighth of an inch bleed around my document, around my artboard. So to do that, I type one, three, eight. This is constrained, so it's going to set the bleed settings to the same for everything because I have this selected. And once I've done that, I can uh, name it. When you name it, um, you'll put another underscore here and add your name to the file. Click OK. OK. So here's my document. If I don't see all of it in the window, I can go to View Menu. View men view menu and choose fit in window. You can see my eighth inch bleed that's all the way around my document. It's eight and a half by 11 and I'm in CMYK color mode. Let's get rid of some of these things here and show our color panel. Yep, CMYK. There are some things that I'm probably not going to need today. Now maybe I'm probably going to need them. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to go to View Menu and choose Rulers and Show Rulers because I like to have my rulers out while I'm working. Uh, it makes it easy to drag guides onto my document. It makes it really easy to measure things. I'm going to, uh, normally if I make a, a coupon or any sort of document that's going to be printed, I allow about a half inch or whatever my client specifies of space from the edge to my live area. So very much uh, the way you will see a margin in any other document, I'm just going to drag guides out of my rulers and onto my document so that I can see where the edge of the page is. So now that I've marked out that area, that is the area that I am going to work within. I'm not going to give you stringent measurements for everything else. Uh, you can take a look at the diagram that's in the assignment and kind of figure it out for yourself. I know that on the left hand side of the page is where I'm going to put my coupons. So I can usually start by drawing out a rectangle. If it's filled with white that's okay. Um, in this case I might want to, eh, I can leave it filled with white for now. I'm going to set the stroke size to something more visible than one point. I'm going to set it to six and I'm going to click and drag myself A rectangle. Okay, there are things I need to do to this to make it look more like a coupon and I may have to change the size of this depending on how much room I have going down. I think I can fit four of them going down my page but I may need to change that. So I'm just going to mouse up here and grab my select tool and take a look at the stroke panel in the stroke panel, you know, you've seen a coupon, you know what it looks like. In the stroke panel, I can change the size of my stroke. I can uh, give it rounded corners if I want. I don't in this case because then it wouldn't look like a coupon. But I do want a dash line, so I'm going to make sure that that's checked. 
I have a choice here. I can set the width for the gap. I can change the width of my dash if I want to. Uh, if I'm working with other lines and, and doing other things like some kind of diagram, I can set arrowheads and all kinds of fun things in here that I won't be needing today, but it's fun to know they're there. So now I've got what's going to become my coupon. Okay, maybe I reduce it just a, just a hair. Okay, which I've noticed changes the weight of the stroke here, so I'm just bump that up to five again. So now, holding down Option key, I mean, why should I reinvent the wheel every time when I can just Option, click, and drag and duplicate these really quickly okay so they all fit in there but the spacing is kinda like yuck so I'm gonna hold down my shift key still got select tool up there uh, bottom coupon is selected I'm just going to select the others if I've got nothing else on my page I can actually click and drag to select while the shift key is held down and I'm going to use my distribute tools to even out the space between these and make sure um, a line to artboard is selected and I'm going to choose vertical distribute center which aligned it to the artboard okay so I didn't want to do that so now I'm going to choose Align to Selection and cross my fingers and hope that that does what I want it to do. Okay, so Vertical Distribute Center. Yes, it put the even space between all of these. Sometimes I have to align to Artboard, sometimes um, align to whatever I've selected. Uh, either way, that's working now. So that is the basis of how to set up the document with the coupons. Um, I'm going to put in text placeholders and I'm going to put in a new layer for that. So this is my base layer with my um, coupons. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it text. And I'm going to lock my coupon layer so I don't accidentally nudge things out of place. So. Hey, spinning beach ball duh. This is where I'm going to put my text. I'm going to choose a font other than the default. And I'm going to use the paragraph tools to align my text to the center. 12 point isn't very big, so I'm going to bump that up. I'm going to change the font once I jump down a line just because I want something that's not as fancy as the one that I just chose, so I'm going to choose Helvetica because it's a nice plain sans serif font. Okay, um, what I'm doing here is, well, one, I'm going to change the letting between here and here is nasty. So I'm going to go into paragraph, not paragraph, character, and just, actually, let me open up the character panel so I can kind of float it on the side. Type character, okay. So I'm going to bump up the letting by selecting it and hitting my up arrow key. Okay, better. 
This I want all on one line. So I'm going to reduce the size of the type. And I'm also going to increase the letting of that as well, just to move it down so that it looks a little bit more aesthetically balanced. Okay, so I can play around with the point sizes, I can play around with the letting, I can make it look a little more balanced than it is. Perhaps I don't want the text to be so close to the dashed line. I want it to look more like it's kind of centered in this space. So uh, when I'm putting coupons together, usually what I do, the same option, click and drag, I will drag down. Obviously they're not all going to say the same thing. I'm going to change the text and use my smart guides as I do this, those, those pink things that you see, just because it makes it easier to line things up. And that is how you get started. In the next tutorial I will move on to what we're going to do next.